going on everybody welcome back so it's like 7 30 in the morning and that's kind of late but i got my coffee it's fresh out <clears throat> my wife and my daughter are still asleep the boys are upstairs so i got a little bit of time because tomorrow i gotta go to work so i need to try to get as much shit done as possible i actually need to go by the bank and take this damn title of this car to them but what I'm gonna do today is, it's fresh out and it's early, I got a little bit of time. I am going to do the freaking front spoiler on the M3. So, we're gonna see. I've never taken the, I've never taken the bumper off. I've seen a million people work on BMWs. They take the bumper off like in freaking 20 minutes. Uh, I've never got to jack with it, but I guess we'll figure it the hell out today. I really don't wanna move it. Last night I went on Turner and I ordered the full transmission, uh, I don't know how you say the maintenance kit the maintenance kit i ordered the, the the freaking new pan i ordered the whole freaking skid plate the skid plate because mine is nasty and covered with freaking uh transmission fluid so i ordered a new skid plate i ordered the pan i ordered the filters it came with a new um little drain plug it came with all the quarts of uh, dct fluid so I think it said like four to seven business days, so that'll be a project for when I get back on days off. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start. Uh, what the fuck is that shit? What the hell is that? I wonder if a I wonder if a dog came in here and pissed on here. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's gross. We're gonna get that cleaned up. I'm going to get the garage open. Well, I don't know. It's kind of it feels really good in here. I don't want to open up because I opened up the back door and it was kind of cold. So I got the hoodie on, but uh, I'm gonna get the lights on. I'm gonna get the freaking spoiler over here and get the tools. Give me one second. So I'm not gonna lie to you. This thing, I did, I did drive it already. I recorded a little bit of video. It was kind of hard to do uh, because I don't have a GoPro and I didn't get the mounts. I got my mounts actually like uh, Friday night. I got my mounts, <clears throat> but I don't believe those things are gonna hold. <laughs> I tried putting them on the side of the car and stuff. I think I'm gonna actually have to break down and get one of those suction cups or whatever it is. <laughs> to put on the side of the car because one, I don't want to lose a GoPro that I just paid, what, 300 to $400 for. And two, I really, I just don't want it to fucking fly off. That's that's the main thing. But this thing is not practical like as a, as a grocery getter. It's good to go fuck around town, but in this Texas heat, uh, Friday was really hot and I had to go pick up the kids and this thing fucking was letting off heat like crazy after I got back to the house. So this is not really, really practical. So I need to get this thing fixed. Like I said, I got on Turner, Order all the stuff. So we're gonna try to get this thing running, or it runs. I'm gonna get this thing tidied up and then we're gonna get the AC working on it because this is a little bit more practical other than the truck. The truck is like, knock on wood, but the truck is all reliable, you know what I mean? The truck does does her thing. But I need to get this thing fixed, get the, get the transmission freaking maintenance, get the AC done, and then I do wanna get the windshield replaced. I'm gonna get the freaking windshield replaced. I don't give a shit what Safe Light says. We're gonna get that shit replaced. But, uh, look how clean she is, cause I never drive the damn thing. I've literally put probably 700 miles, maybe 720 miles since I purchased this last year in December. I, I don't put any miles on this. And I've probably put about, I would say a good 100 miles on this one, but this damn thing, Whatever it had, I believe it had E65 is what he told me. That shit didn't last but maybe an hour, half a tank, or three, actually 60% of a tank didn't last but maybe like an hour in the vehicle and I had to go fill it up with 93 because that's all I got. I don't have any E85 here where I live. And if you look online, it says that Corpus has it at like five stripes, which are the gas stations locally here. It says it has them at five of them, but I've been to a couple of those and I know for a fact they do not have E85. So I haven't called every place, but yeah, I need to check that. Ooh, look, and the headlights are holding up. Look really, really good with that ceramic coat. And I did wash the car, so I had already gotten it wet, but night and day difference from what it came looking like when we purchased the vehicle. But ooh, that wasn't a fart, that was a... That was these shoes on the rug, so that wasn't a fart. <laughs> uh, it sounded like a fart. But we're gonna get this thing taken apart. So as you can see, I have some of those self-tapping screws. And this is what I was showing you guys. Look, I'm not afraid to show you the, the flaws in this vehicle. Like the paint was chipping before, but when I finally washed it when I got the vehicle, this chipped off pretty big. But it was all cracked right here, so I could tell that there was some type of issue, right? And if you see, 
they put that little piece of plate i don't know i don't know if this comes stock it might but they use self-tapping screws to get up in there because for whatever reason they put it like that they put self-tapping screws and it, that's what it's being held up with so there's a fastener right here fastener 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 and it all comes off but you do need to get your your tire up out of the way unless you have probably a stock height vehicle then you can maybe fit a ratchet in there but even like this you'd eh, it'd just be quicker to just pull the tire off now the only problem is getting to that other side hopefully i can fit in there and be able to get all up in there without having to move the gtr because i really don't feel like moving that damn thing right now but yeah and then i believe all i have to do is take off these fasteners right here right here and it should come off. Fasteners came off pretty easy, and I believe. Yeah, yeah, I believe once I get this wheel off and get those liner, those fasteners in that liner, this thing will come completely off. And then we just gotta get these off, and then get the other ones fitted off. Look, I don't know what the fuck that is. That better not be fucking pissed, dude. If it's pissed from one of these neighbor's dogs, he's dead, dude. Just as easy as I figured. It's all off. It was just, uh, you gotta get those front pieces of the fender liner off and then it comes off pretty easy with just four fasteners. So we're gonna get the heat gun, get those those little shark fins taken off, those fangs taken off, and then uh, we'll get it cleaned up. And we'll get that, uh, we'll get that front spoiler put on. But not too bad. Looks freaking crazy though. Looks disgusting. And for you that know me, no, I do not like to put my cars back together all nice and nasty. So we're going to at least give it a little wipe down, even all this dirt that's on the outside, which is going to be completely invisible from the normal fucking eye, but not for old me, because that'll bother the hell out of me. So let's try to get some of this cleaned up before we do anything. the other one off and then we'll just put holes right here and I have self tapping screws so that we can put the uh, the spoiler on I'm not gonna use bolts I don't believe I am but I'll use those self tapping screws to hold it in place and a lot of them but my problem is my fear is that this thing was cheaply painted and then once I get this heated up and taken off it's gonna rip off the paint or vice versa and I really hope that does not happen but it's a risk we're gonna have to freaking take and if it does not come out right we'll put the tires back on we won't put the bumper back on and then we'll have to order a new bumper and get it all cleaned up 
it will just be God's plan it is what it is but I'm gonna go ahead and rip open this box show you guys what we got and then we'll get to heating this one up and taking it apart